I want to spend a little time today in this video talking about what's happened to our root development over the course of the last month or so. Our soil temperatures have been on a roller coaster ride from way down cold to way warm to down cold to just barely starting to warm up as things start to dry out again. We've had some impacts to root development. This is going to vary from tillage system to tillage system, soil type to soil type, and really where you're at, in some cases in a field, even the difference between north and south facing slopes. It all has to do with the way the soil warms. Corn plants early on really depend on that soil warmth to help with root development. Plus, you add in the fact that we had really, really wet soils in some cases, we've had some root development issues. Hi, I'm Mike Zwingman, Agronomy R&D Manager for Central Valley Ag. This is your Monday Agronomy Update video that coincides with the Reach Out article on the CVA blog site. What I want you to do is go out and dig up some plants, walk out with your field sales agronomist and evaluate your root development. Because this root development is going to have an impact on things like nitrogen use and water use down the road because of the way it looks at root depth. What I really want you to look for is that root architecture. Does it have that proper you know, distribution of roots around the radius of the plant? Does it look like a shotgun blast more so than a mohawk? We want to also look at how well those roots reach down at an angle because we don't want that root mass to narrow up too much because that's going to shallow our roots up and really not give us the ability to look inside the row for moisture and nutrients. So if we have that mohawking roots, that means we've had some sidewall compaction and we're not going to be able to get those roots to force out to the center of the row. So we're going to have to think about how we place side dress nitrogen so we can access those nutrients as best as possible. We're also going to have to think about how we water that to make sure we keep the center of the row wet as, as much as possible too. And as we look at roots that kind of radiate out a little bit better and have that more root, rooting depth, we also want to look at how healthy the root hairs are. When we looked at this plant here, we have a lot more healthier root hairs. We have some issues with root mass, just kind of from a distribution root standpoint, but nothing serious. Here we have a little bit better distribution of root, but we don't have those root hairs. And some of that's from that cold weather, some of that's from it being wet footed, and some of that's just because of the developmental stage of the corn plant. Those root hairs is where we're going to get all the work done. And products like Takeoff and Ascend have really helped us get those root hairs and get that root mass going the way we wanted it to, even in the more challenging conditions. I want you to spend some time evaluating your roots. I want you to understand how it's going to impact our management decisions from here on out. And then I want you to think about how we're going to do things like apply nitrogen and manage our water situation based on our rooting capacity from here in the rest of the growing season. As always, be safe and we'll see you next week.